Hey, 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 it's Thursday night. You know what that means? It's the time for the hangout. Uh, you've right. got uh, myself, Pastor Norm, and... Ben Lowermore, worship ben leader. Ben Lowermore, our worship Absolutely. leader. Don't, and don't call him Lassermore, all right? No, 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 no. Lowermore. Lau, spelled L-O-W, but Lau, Lowermore. That's all right. It. Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, mm-hmm. Also, call him, uh, what's, what's that nickname? Uh, Benjamin? Benjamin. Benjamin, all I've right. I've been jamming. Well, we jamming all week. Yeah. Hey, we're glad to have him with us tonight. Uh, You can see our regular folks are not running the show. So, hey, uh, mm, I don't know what you're in for tonight, but I can tell you what. We watched last week, man. Those ladies kicked it. That's strong. Strong. I'm nervous because of that. Uh, Not just because I'm behind the camera most of the time, but that was, yeah, that was something. That was good. And, and that, hey, and, and those that don't know, he he is behind that camera on the hangout a lot of times, and that's why it, you know it's as good as it is. You know? So, uh, but it's easy with y'all, yeah. But absolutely. yeah, man, I tell you what. But listen, hey, the the uh, uh, you know I must apologize. For, must start this off with an apology, Ben, because uh, we brought you on as our worship leaders here, and I think we're responsible for this whole COVID thing. Uh, you you know, bringing me on, yeah, was the was the genesis of it. Yeah, yeah so mm-hmm. um, it our, our apologies there, but, uh, but no, we're we're glad we're going look. We're going to talk about past, present, and future tonight, mm-hmm. uh, and and some things. You know, even so, you got to get to know Ben a little bit here. You know, maybe you want to ask him some questions. Fill them up. Fill up the screen there. You know, write up. Down here, let us down know here. you're in. Type it in and all that. Um, and uh, so uh, there may be some things like, Ben, I, I got one. Mm-hmm. Why is your hair so long? Why is the hair so long? It's the source of my strength. Um, it's the source of uh, my ability to sing and worship the Lord. No, it's uh, purely just just for it. Okay. Just for right. it. Yeah, I've never Sorry. really done it before. All right. And uh, so I, I bounced it out this week, though. Yeah, okay. If you saw me last week, it was a little bit more all over the place. So. Okay, right. But, uh, but I, I had some few – I had a few people when I – because I've asked them. I've been in that spot of like, well, your hair's right. getting kind of long. Like, what do you think? Should it maybe start time to cut it, whatever? And they don't think they don't think it's my hair I'm talking about. They think it's my beard. And so they'll be like, oh, yeah, you, yeah, cut the beard. Yeah, trim oh. the beard. Do that. Trim so the beard. I'm like, oh, all right, well. Might as okay. well. Might as right, well, well get that going. But. Man, you, you got to my next question. It was going to be about the beard. Yeah, hell we'll, leave, we'll leave that one alone. All right. <laughs> no, okay. it's a normal length. All yeah, right. So, <laughs> so now, really, seriously, we're, we're glad to have you on, and I think you're doing glad a great job, here. phenomenal Thank job you. leading our worship team. That other guy, yes. you know, so. Uh, that guy. Oh, he's he's right back there. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, okay. He may, he, he may even watch <laughs> it's this. It's so, so dark in here. I yeah, see. I know. Well, so let me ask you this. Why, yeah. why lead in worship? Why are you, uh, mm-hmm. why, why is that a thing that you uh, are, are passionate about? Yeah, well, it's, uh, you know, I'm a younger guy. I'm actually, well, about to turn 24, 16th. Whoa. Uh, of August. So oh, hey, but it's coming up. I'm dropping that. Just that would have been a deal breaker. Yeah, yeah, that, oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> that right. I'm that young, right. exactly. That okay. inexperienced. Right. No, but uh, but it's probably been one of the longest things I've been doing. Um, it's one that I've probably been playing worship and being on a platform as a musician, or just and then kind of graduated up until somebody was singing and leading um, for a little around ten years now um, since I was 13 and then kind of into 14. Um, but it's something that the Lord's gifted me with. He gifted me with an interest in music right. um, and a desire and the kind of drive to play music and learn how to play it and like just and just a love for it. And so uh, that kind of naturally steered me into, you know, wanting to be a part of a worship team and wanting to, um, you know, use that gift. You know, I, think, I don't think it was anything, especially since I was younger, it wasn't a thing of like, oh, I want to lead people or I want to do this or do that. It kind of started in this pure sense of I just want to worship the Lord and I want to play music while doing that and and you know just being a part of a team environment too I wanted to play with my friends who also were playing right. music and right. doing all that so but uh, but it's been a part of my life for so long it's definitely you know been you know a, a big part of my kind of faith journey and like becoming more serious with Christ and committing my life to Christ at an early age but as I grew older kind of learning what that meant and deepening that and strengthening that and and playing with worship teams and playing at church and being you know in these certain positions of uh has really grown and deepened me and changed me in that way. So, but uh, but I I am still doing it because <laughs> yes. I uh, I have the desire to do it and and enjoy leading people in worship, enjoy being a part of a team that's committed to that of of uh, people who are really knit together. Our teams like 
one of the best I've ever been a part of in that. Talk about that. I talk about that. You've you've been you've been working with these guys since January. So uh, tell us. Well, and even kind of before then. Yeah, Yeah. and you did. And and Uh tell about that because you've there's people that don't know that there's a team back there behind this whole thing. And 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 I I will say this frankly, so people know that. So we started this in 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 year 2000. Where you know when we had any type worship team we always wanted them to first and foremost be worshipers themselves yes. we didn't we didn't invite anybody to come in just because they could sing good mm-hmm. or they really wanted to play mm-hmm. uh, a certain instrument it, it's about being a worship leader first but tell us about our team because people i mean i loved it we could have them all here maybe we sh- yeah we should do that yeah one hangout night have, have, have all of them here, here that crazy just crew. have them in there have that crew in here <laughs> And they so people can know them. I, re- I tell you what, I really enjoyed this this past Sunday. You know, it was, it was just watching. Uh, I was watching Robert behind the the screen on the drums, yeah. man. And and uh, man, he just worships back there. I love to watch oh, yeah. all everybody back there when they're getting into it. But uh, go ahead and uh, tell yeah. us a little something. Yeah, I mean, I would never. I'm probably not someone that would be the first to brag on me. I might do it as a joke, but I don't actually <laughs> brag on myself. I mean, I, I brag on the team because uh, we've got a great team. And like you said, that's probably the first and foremost thing about all those, all those guys and gals is that they're worshipers, um, that they would be worshiping out in the congregation every weekend, no matter if they had an instrument in their hands, or, you know, they would be singing right. and they would be getting after it. And, um, you know, they just kind of like me in that sense, you know, we have these gifts and we have these uh, opportunities to to serve and to play and to lead and so we just serve and play and lead at the church in that capacity so but uh but yeah they're probably just some of the the coolest people I've met in, in terms of you know coming into a new team as well and because I would uh, come in and out play in and out um, kind of before I even started was like guest worship leader I right. guess or kind of you know t- took the reins a little bit uh, every once in a while um, give that guy a break but uh, but he, we you know got really close and they just were really welcoming they're really sweet mm-hmm. they you know, have just, we've all kind of, uh, you know, just been getting after it together. And, and uh, yeah, they're they're great. You know, I mean, I name all of them, Sean, Robert, Ricky. Uh, Jackie was playing keys this past weekend. I love when Jackie comes and I don't have to, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm newer to keys-ish. If you look at me, you're like, oh, he's great at key. I'm not a keys player uh, in my own uh, words. I just play the keys because <laughs> right. it's just a thing. So what, what, is your, what, is yeah. your, what is your favorite instrument? Oh well, well, my favorite is probably bass guitar because that's okay. probably the longest. Whenever I started playing worship, that was what I've been playing, right. uh, and uh, been growing. And that I I started learning music on guitar, um, mm-hmm. and then I had a friend, uh, like actually at a at a youth camp. Whenever I was kind of starting to learn how to play guitar, mm-hmm. uh, well, I I filled in whenever I was playing guitar, learning guitar. I wanted to try it for the worship team, and they're like, "We already have a guitar." here's a bass guitar can you play that mm-hmm. thing mm-hmm. and I was like okay and it was a five string bass that had the fifth string the lowest string cut off so it was big clunky and weird and I was like alright I'll just figure this thing out and so I started to play that but I started to get fairly confident with it and good at it and I had a friend who was playing drums with us at the youth camp and kind of like in the process of the weekend he was just like hey like you need to just ditch mm-hmm. the guitar you need to just right. play bass for a while so that's probably been my right. favorite it's the one I've played the most and and uh, and I've had the privilege of playing at, uh, at the old church I was a part of, being on like a live album, and I've you know got to play a bunch of weekends and play that instrument um, mm-hmm. for recordings and for other people, right. and it's awesome. been a lot of fun. Yeah. Awesome, so, awesome. I'll tell you back, yeah. you know, back to like the the worship team. I, yeah. I, um, you know, what I've appreciated through the years about them is is we've had. Uh, I mean, first of all. <laughs> They're very talented. They are. Yes. Uh, we have been blessed. Absolutely. Praise God. God has blessed us. Mm-hmm. I'm very humbled in that, and that He has blessed us because <laughs> I have zero uh, <laughs> music uh, capabilities. And somebody mm-hmm. uh, pointed out at the uh, staff meeting this week when I started to sing something, they said that only God appreciates uh, my <laughs> voice, and uh, which that's I, good enough. Yeah, I had to totally, enough, I had yeah. to totally agree with that, and, and which shows how gracious God is mm-hmm. uh, that gracious. He He would care uh, that much mm-hmm. uh, to hear me sing. But um, but we've also had people that saw where there are gaps and they learned an instrument. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I know. I hope I'm getting this right, but I'm pretty pretty sure Sean did that on the bass years mm-hmm. ago, and and he's like the regular guy at it. And I know Dale has mm-hmm. worked at it into a new spot on that, mm-hmm. and uh, and uh, but 
you know, and yeah. going all back, you threw, you know, we've thrown some names out. Now we're, you know, we're going to leave somebody out. We don't mean to do that, but, yeah. <laughs> but uh, I think about, uh, you know, a lot of people don't know that uh, Ricky and Robert were, you know, they were, they were, they were in our first church meeting in a home when mm-hmm. we had about eleven or thirteen people. Mm-hmm. Those two guys were there, and uh, I remember specifically wanting to hurry up and get enough people so we could get in the school to meet because I heard Robert play the drums, and I mm-hmm. wanted to get us off the. Uh, off the uh, CD player, yeah. Google that, CD player. Google that if, to see what that is. There you go. But that's how we would play our music probably for just a little bit, and yep. then we went to guitar, and then mm. uh, we got in there. And so God has blessed us. So, mm-hmm. um, but we'll uh, we'll come back to you know. I know some people probably will know some of the things that we're talking about. Other yep. things here, you know, we are we are having our feature on uh, Ben uh, Ben Jammin. Uh, <laughs> so, um, but as well, uh, I want to talk about some things. The past week mm-hmm. uh, was pretty awesome. Uh, we had uh, last week we had a training um, training for our D group leaders, or and we had our and also potential D group leaders. Anybody that was interested in that, and you know, there may be some people that. They may have just come because they just wanted to be at the church mm-hmm. on a Wednesday night <laughs> around we, other people. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I have to be honest; we had you know we had a great crowd to yeah. hear our unengaged, unreached people group missionary to India, Jack, and uh, it was you know it's just it was meant to be a motivational teaching uh, so that we understand the why of making disciples that make disciples, mm-hmm. and uh, I believe that's exactly what happened. I think people got that. Uh, we were, by the way, we were able to record that, and it is available on our Living Truth Church podcast. And you can look into the link here. We'll put the link on the on this page right now. And uh, so, but but I want to also you to remind remind those that are that they're all online with us. That's all you're doing with this with church now. You're not coming in person. We understand that. We get that. Um, but we want you to know it is. You're the one we need. We need you to help us. Um, we need you to help us uh, to, to reach other people uh, th- via the internet. Uh, you can subscribe, subscribe to our podcast. Um, it looks just like the logo on the shirt. Okay, <laughs> uh, and also, uh, f- you know, if you're going to the church uh, website uh, or on Facebook Live. Uh, watching at uh, 9.45 and 11.15, yeah, mm-hmm. uh, then that would be uh, Facebook Live. If you want to watch on YouTube, uh, it's the 8.15 service, and then it's obviously it's recorded on all those after that. But, um, but look, help us out by subscribing to, like, the YouTube channel and, and give us that five-star you know, even if it's a four star to you, just help us out. <laughs> Give us a five star, and you know we just want to get a lot of subscribers. Mm-hmm. Evidently, in the social media world, world that helps us somehow, and we'll figure that out one day. Um, let's see. I, pass. I just want you to know that people continue to come to faith in Christ. So, mm-hmm. so uh, you're. Man, I know I'm so concerned about people getting the pandemic fatigue or getting sucked up in some vacuum and letting. That's when the devil lies to us and thinks people don't care. Look, it's hard for us if people aren't in a small group to know what people are going through. Mm-hmm. Um, we've had this this past week. We've had we've had we've had deaths uh, with family members and friends of the church, and and um, and we really count on the small groups to help help us Mm -hmm. to love on people because especially right now it's so hard and um you know but anyway just ask you to uh help us uh help you by being connected in any of these ways that you can Mm -hmm. um we have some baptisms uh coming up uh, Mm -hmm. this sunday august 2nd we have some coming up august 9th so if you're fitting in that category you want to you want to you know, pr- show the world that you have come to faith in Christ. You've never followed through a believer's baptism yet. Uh, let us know. Uh, be, connect with us, and let us know you'd like to be a part of that. Uh, we have we had a membership class the last two months, and we had one this past week. Uh, we've got people joining the church. Uh, I just I'm just saying these things so people know that these things yeah. are happening. Still happen. <laughs> uh, and and there's a variety of opportunities to serve. Right now, mm-hmm. we're trying to connect the. We know that COVID. Our response uh, to the school system here locally, the church, schools local to, uh, closest to us, uh, we've got ways that we're going to help them. If you want to help, 
let us know. Hey, I'd like to be in on that, you know, so. Um, Absolutely. And I'll speak to that as well. Just being someone who it's, you know, my job to serve, but it's a weekly thing that I do and I interact with people who mm -hmm. it's not their job to serve as in, you know, they're not getting specifically paid for that, but they come and they serve and give their yeah. time. And we actually were having a discussion about that this past weekend. And, you know, this is probably one of the one of the churches I've been a part of that's been so great at, you know, not forcing this, you know, you have to serve every week, you have to serve until you're bone dry and you have to, you know, do all these things. And But at the same time, you know, we're, we're Christians, we're born again, our, our hearts are, are new. And so out of the heart, you know, flows the issues of life and out of the heart, it shows the, the fruit, our, our fruit Amen. of our salvation. The fruit of that, you know, is serving and it is giving and it is, you know, being there. And so, you know, we, uh, I, I know for our team, you know, I don't force if someone can't play a weekend, I'm like, nah, you're going to play that weekend, you know, right. we, you know, give people time. But, um, but, you know, we encourage people to serve and we have oppor so many opportunities for, to, to, for people to serve and get Amen. involved if, uh, if, you know, the spirit's leading you that way. Cause I think that's, that's a sign of you know your heart's in the right place you, know, you want to give you want to serve so amen yeah. that's right that's right thank you for that benjamin mm -hmm. um so here's what we want you to do C continue to you know uh, serve and give uh, invite people mm -hmm. share the gospel um be all a part of what we got going on you know look uh who knows? Uh, maybe God has cre created this diversion uh, for such a time as this. You know, it's so that so that people will turn to faith in Christ uh, right now. Uh, you know, and, and so don't don't discount the time that we're going through right now. You know, we all need to be ready to give answer for the hope as within us, right? And uh, so, speaking of that, I mean, do you have anything, Ben, that God has been through the reading, through the study, or just in general, that God is speaking to you. Yeah, that's a. Uh, I was I was thinking about it earlier, and I probably could have inserted it there. And we were talking about it earlier in staff meeting, but just going through Esther the past week, you know, it's it's one of two books in the Bible where God isn't explicitly mentioned, as in like the Lord or God is like you know in the the text right there. Um, however, it is such a beautiful story in the Bible in that sense because although God is not in the text mentioned, he's just all over that story. He's all over that story mm -hmm. from the beginning to the end. And just the way it was structured is beautiful. And the comeuppance in the middle with Haman and that whole scene right there, just, you right. know, I mean, just kind of out of a comedy a little bit of oh, like, yeah. oh, you know, you wow. can, yeah, put that guy on the horse and go around and say he's the greatest and this and that. And like, all right, well, yeah, Mordecai is going to do that. Put him on that horse, you know. So, mm -hmm. but just the, just the knowledge of that, that, you know, God was not mentioned in that book, but he was still working through everything. He was saving his people, his promise to Abraham back then to, you know, your, you know multiply his his nation just, you know, ex extravagantly um, over, over the years it was still in place. He was still with them and still providing for them, still caring for them. Um, even when, gosh, like for, yeah, a decree is sent out and all mm -hmm. hope seemed lost, you know, um, the whole kingdom was going to be, um, eradicated, but but he was working through that, and he was working through Esther and Mordecai and these specific people in that story as well. So yeah. encouraging that God's still there, um, and encouraging that uh, God, uh, encouraging and maybe a little convicting too that He'll call on you in that time, mm -hmm. or you might find yourself in that mm -hmm. time such as this that you know you need to have that response. If I perish, I'll perish. That's right. I'll do it, and whatever happens will happen. Um, I'll serve whatever happens I'll serve you know I'll, I'll give whatever happens I'll give I'll you know I'll trust in God whenever it doesn't look like that outcome might be in yeah. my favor you know amen so yeah wow you just took the words right out of my mouth so <laughs> I was thinking well I was going to say that but you said it all so yeah. very good um, listen um, you know another thing I want to let just kind of in general just let people know what's happening uh, you know that so that um, you know Sunday uh, live attendance is growing. Uh, you know, it's growing a bit. Mm -hmm. that, that was good. Yeah. That was good to see okay. that. And 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 and, uh, and I want you to know that we are uh, we're being cautious. Mm -hmm. uh, we didn't like, you know, you know, we weren't like cautious just for like the first couple of weeks. I mean, we're that's something we're continuing. That will be something that we continue to do. 
Uh, we will continue to take measures, uh, extreme measures, mm -hmm. uh, to sanitize in between services. Uh, we have, just so you know, we have space specifically de designed for families with children. Um, and you, in case you think yours are too rambunctious for the big sanctuary and the dining hall, we're setting some things up. And it was great. We had a lot more children this week sitting mm -hmm. with their families, some in the floor doing things. Man, it was just great to mm -hmm. see them worshiping together. It's great to hear the voices. Mm -hmm. uh, but and I, I'm going to – hey, let me, let me say this, you know, you know, because I want to finish out about the dining hall situation is, uh, you know, we have – we have that space specifically set up for them, but we also uh, we invite you. I want to make sure we're clear on this. We invite you to bring, uh, if you want to come as a family in there and bring uh, bring a, a playpen if, if the child's that age and that's what you need. Uh, we have some available, but I know some people in the cleanliness want to use their own. Mm -hmm. uh, or maybe a high chair or one of those old swing o -matic things. I don't know what they call them now. <laughs> uh, but I remember that, but mm -hmm. my wife and I, we got a lot of mileage out of those swing o -matics with our four kids. Um, but we have we have space, and, and you, maybe you want to say, "Look, I'm not going to come every week, but I, I got I got to get me a fix. I got to show up, and uh, feel free to do that. Well, we'd love to have you." Mm -hmm. um, and so, what was I going to say in that? What is that like? What What was I going to say? I, I should have stopped in my in my day if I don't remember it. If if I if I let it go, oh, I know. So, what's it like? Uh, what's it like for you? Mm -hmm. When more people are in there and you're leading worship, oh, it's great! It's great, you know. And I've I've led worship for very small groups. I've led yeah. worship for a good amount of people. Um, you know, each one has its own uniqueness and qualities. And it's you know, I mean, just worshiping the Lord together is is you know a blessing. And we've seen that especially in this time. Um, but yeah, it's it's great. It's amazing. You know, we uh, we were recording um, uh, for a little bit and just the, you know, emptiness uh, in the place. And we had with some few strategic folks right. kind of there to, you know, give it a little bit of a feel and while we were right. recording sermons and this and that. But um, nothing can top just, you know, being corporately together in yeah. the presence of the Lord. I mean, I think it's one of our duties as a church. It's one of the reasons that we are a church is to, you know, sing spiritual songs to the right. Lord, to each other, um, you know, whether our voices are great or not, uh, right. but just uh, sing out. Well, why and, are you uh, looking at me when you say uh, that? Just, no, okay, nothing, all right, okay. Particular, but, uh, <laughs> no, but, uh, yeah, to sing to Him, to, to sing with each other, um, and uh, and to give Him praise, because, um, you know, and I'll, I'll just speak that as our worship leader, that um, we come to worship, and we sing, and we play music, and we do all these things, to praise God, Amen. to worship God, um, you know, we uh, in terms of our our songs, the songs that I tend to select, and the songs that we decide to do um, as a church are <clears throat> usually looked at and and kind of critiqued in that sense of, you know, does this worship God or is this talking more about me or my struggle or my whatever? <clears throat> Excuse me, mm -hmm. I got a little voice there, or is this worshiping God, giving Him praise, and acknowledging Him in this time? And and yeah. I think. A lot of our songs pass that test, you know, maybe some slip through the cracks here and there. It's just a natural right. process. But, you know, I'm in prayer and we, we you know, um, I, you know, send it out to the team and we kind of discuss on that and we get right. suggestions or different things. And, um, you know, I love me some hymns. I love me some newer songs. I love me some hymns. But, um, you, know, you know, we all come together to worship. And that's, I want to I want to I want to hit you up on that here in just a minute. Yeah. We're going to have we're coming up on a break here in just a second. But mm -hmm. I want to I want more about that uh, song selection. I, 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 you know, I do think that. You know, for me, when we had the big crowd come, you know, when when more people come, it, it obviously encourages and mm -hmm. we'll all of us, and it, and it kind of picks us picks us up. I know I've seen that. I don't know if people are like, I know I saw some people this past week. It was their first time in a while back, mm -hmm. and man, they were just loving the the singing, you know. Uh, and before we hit the break, I do want to share this. I know Jeff had given some things about uh, youth. Um, you know, the youth, the student ministry, and the college ministry, things are going great there. The college ministry, man, it's mm -hmm. kicking, it's rocking and rolling. Uh, we do have a thing coming up for the youth uh, August 5th. Uh, there's going to be a night of youth worship yep. right up here at the church. They're going to uh, meet with the sister church, I believe Pine Terrace. I don't know if there's any other churches in on that. Uh, yeah, just, just mm -hmm. Pine Terrace. So, um, but uh, that's coming up. So, you know, you know, you know bring your your students to that and be a part of that and just you know what keep praying for 
everybody, yeah. the children's ministry, students' ministry, all of them. Mm-hmm. But uh, we got some other stuff we're going to talk about on the other side of the break. So right now we're just going to take five and uh, get it back together, and we'll see you in a little bit. back uh i had to do that yeah. for those that have been with, listening to our uh, d group podcast all right there you go that was for you guys all mm-hmm. right okay <laughs> fun times right fun times. i'm here with ben jammin our worship leader and we're having a great time oh, yeah. uh man i those, you know those ladies last week made me realize how fun this is you know <laughs> this is fun that jeff yeah. i mean he that jeff well, he has a lot of fun. You know, hey, this is hard to lead I, I this get, thing. I get just know? a little bit of fun. Not a lot of fun. Yeah, behind the camera, a little bit. Um, yeah. little bit. Okay. Just a little bit. Would you rather be on that side or this side? I don't know. I'm. Well, let's keep talking. And see. Okay. All right. Yeah, all right. I haven't we'll, finished we'll it yet, so I we mean, get the end. You know, it's it's crazy. <laughs> you know, it's funny that you find out that people don't want to do this, and then once they get a microphone thrust in front of them, yes. you can't shut them up. Yeah. <laughs> That's, That's not true. been my experience tonight. That's true. Well, yeah, it's it's a yeah. Uh, but I throw, like, what do you think? And there's yeah. oh, here we go. Yeah. It is. They'll it let is. you know. So, what do y'all think? I mean, y'all got some. Hey, if y'all have some yeah, people that comments. you think we ought to have as a special guest on the hangout, tell us. You know, I think that'd be great. We're having fun times. Anyway, so just, we were we were a about bunch to, of me's, just me, do, me, me, me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll watch that. There you go. <laughs> um, and do you think we should bring back the gifts every now and then? You know, <laughs> yeah, I bet. Oh, uh, hey, probably a uh, free giveaway. Mm-hmm. Um, so we were talking a minute ago, mm-hmm. okay, uh, about song selection. I mm-hmm. um, mean, I'm, I'm telling you, I, I am all, I'm just, for people that don't know this, for, for okay, so our church, this is 20 years. Mm. 20 years. Woohoo! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Big Woo. celebration. So 20 fun. years. All right. But, <laughs> but, uh, but you know, it's, yeah. it's amazing that it, through these 20 years, I am always amazed uh, of the song selection on Sunday morning related to the sermon. And, and what a lot of folks don't know is, I mean, usually I, I give to the worship leader, they have a general idea, a general idea of where I'm going to be speaking from, um, you know, and uh, whether it's you or Jeff or, uh, you know, just whoever mm-hmm. back in the day. I mean, we, we've had, I mean, it's just always amazes me that the selection of songs is uh, right on the money. I mean, I'm I'm out there worshiping with you guys, and I'm like, did they even know what I'm about? How did yeah. they know? How did they know what I was about to talk about? I mean, oh, yeah. I, I can't. I definitely can't remember one time at all when I was like, ooh, that song didn't go with yeah. anything, you know. And um, good, yeah. man, this this last week, uh, so oh, man, it was great. Uh, you know, the the. Uh, in fact, Lori talked to us about the. The, the singing, you know, Lori yes, had had yeah. our secretary. She she had has already dealt with COVID and and praise the Lord, her family and they're mm-hmm. they're doing better from mm-hmm. and from all that. But she was talking about how even that affects her lungs. She could tell from mm-hmm. singing, and uh, man, when you're singing, it's coming from it's yeah. coming from down low, and it's and it's COVID is so bad that it even imp- impacts your worship, man, because yeah. you you can't go down there and get that, mm-hmm. you know. And um, I mean, I, I don't know if you've ever noticed this, but even words like holy. Mm. Holy comes from down, <laughs> yeah. uh, from down low. It's a heavy you know word. I mean? it's, it's yep. a, it's a, it is. It is a heavy. Ha, hallelujah! Mm-hmm. Those kind of words mm-hmm. they come from deep from your soul. Yeah. You know, I don't know if you knew that or not. Big worship no, leader guy. No, no, no. Uh, there you go. There's a little something, something for you. But uh, <laughs> notice that. You I have just such that. great lung capacity. Yeah. No, yeah. But. Well, and then when you start seeing the, the Hebrew and Greek words for yeah. that, I mean, it really they're like wow. Mm-hmm. Those words that come from that. But yeah. Uh, but yeah, song selection. So I'm amazed. Mm-hmm. Uh, I know all I get. You is you know like and right now all you know is from the reading and yes, you're just yeah. guessing because you don't even know necessarily uh, where I'm preaching from each week. I no, think I got I probably the first month I may have given you some stuff, but yeah, you've been on your own. So <laughs> yeah, well, and I got thrown off one week. We did another in the fire during Daniel, and it was like he's going to talk about Daniel. He's going to talk, about, or and then I can't remember that it week. Fit. It fit. It fit. Yeah. but it was something. It wasn't this. But it was not Daniel. Daniel sermon. No. but I was like, hey, yeah, it still fit. But I was kind of like, oh, that was one of them. Yeah, <laughs> but with the word series though. That's, I did. I gotta say helpful. this. I gotta say this. I did laugh yeah. to myself when I saw that. Cause I, I bet he thought I was going to talk about oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're just sitting there like, oh, wait till he's here oh. on Sunday. Yeah, but that's been helpful for sure. Yeah, we're all you know, and that's. I mean, I could go on and on about our church from 
Genesis, Revelation, beginning of the year to the end of the year, just going through the Bible, walking through the Bible. Like that's something I haven't done in a group as as a church as a whole. But and then I've, I mean, and you know, in terms of just even spiritual, just being vulnerable, not even something I've done fully from beginning to end of read the Bible all the way through. Um, but just an amazing thing that the church has been doing, and you know, has been on our heart to go through that and to really just dive into scripture there so that helps with song selection sh- for sure because you you know go through and you you read and you hear what god's speaking to you and you see the themes and scripture but and to god be the glory and all of that as well Amen. i mean that a lot of it is is you know prayer and a lot of it is Amen. and you know i'll be honest some of it is a, a practical sense too you know songs have keys and things go well together mm-hmm. and things you know just it's just kind of a flow of things but um, but yeah, it's just all the Lord working that stuff together. It's us kind of, you know, with, with a lot of things, I think in Christian life, you, you, you know, have a certain amount that you do, but you know, the majority is the Lord orchestrating together and putting those things and connecting people, you know, to that message, that you know, timeless message. And, mm-hmm. and that's the other thing as well about picking songs that worship God, glorify God, praise God, um, if the songs are, that's their goal and that's their message and that's all that, well, that's going to hit everyone. That's mm-hmm. going to hit everyone at a certain point. And if we're all, you know, Christians uh, mm-hmm. as well, singing and praising, um, that's going to hit them in that sense because, you know, they are saved. They are, you know, mm-hmm. glorifying God. They're thanking Him. They're praising Him for what He's done for them. Um, right. And if they're not Christians in the room, if they're visiting or if they're first time or, you know, whatever their story is, then they start to ask questions. Well, right. who is this God that they're worshiping? Why is the song maybe saying these things or have this message in it? Like, why is, what are some of these words in these songs? Like, we just meant holy. Like, what does holy even mean? Or, you know, you might yep. have this image in your mind, but related to a song, you know, we sing like holy, 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 that, you know, hymn, mm-hmm. you know, Know, that that for for us has a heavy different right. meaning. You know, the Lord is holy and repeated in Scripture to the third degree. He's holy, holy, holy. You know, He's the mm. holy, holier, holiest. So that's right. Um, but yeah, you see, so you, you pick those songs, and when those songs I think are theologically sound, and I think they glorify God, praise God. Um, that's that as well as a big factor in you know it, it's speaking to people, it, it hitting people. Like you know, you don't have to sing a song or write a song or have this song that's directly about this struggle or this or that, that might hit certain people in certain ways, but, you know, the Word of God and the message of God hits everyone. Um, And it hits everyone, you know, as a Christian, not a Christian, um, and it demands that response. So, yeah, I just, you know, we pray, we stay faithful, and, uh, yeah, we, you know, figure out out what songs to sing and a a good key to sing, because I'm not, I don't have the greatest vocal range, but... (laughs) Well, I tell you, speak, of speaking, of, <laughs> speaking of vocal range, I'm yeah. thinking about, I know you almost started naming some people earlier, yeah. and, you know, we had uh, M- Melissa that we've missed lately. Yes. She's just recently had a baby. God bless them. Mm-hmm. Congratulations. Uh, uh, Amy does a great job. Haley's done a great job. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, Adrian, we've got, uh, and then... Uh, we don't let him sing, but Matt, man, on that guitar. Yes. Man. He sings on that he, guitar. He's a shredder, isn't he? His guitar I mean, gently man. weeps. Yes. Gently weeps. That's amazing. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. That's nice. So I know you mentioned he's, Ricky. He's who else? Who, who we who we leave out there? Robert. Taylor. Robert plays drums and has yep. been, yeah, like you said, like one of the guys from the beginning has been killing it. And uh, just recently, our friend Greg, Greg Gill, has been, yeah. he's coming, playing uh, this Sunday. Uh, coming awesome. Sunday, we'll be playing drums, and um, yeah, that's and you mentioned that earlier, and I wanted to also kind of kind of brag on them for that as well. Of you know, people having that gift, and then using it, and people developing that gift or learning, or seeing a need, and then learning it. Right. Um, that's a thing that you know we all do, and I would much rather work with someone and, and play with someone and and be around people that you know they might not be the greatest, quote unquote. And I, our people are great. I'm not saying that, but they might not be this you know insane shredder, this whatever, this or that. But they want to learn. Right. They want to grow. Right. They want to yeah, practice. Maybe. They and and our people um, so much do that. They, that's they right. you know and it's it's a it's a sense of excellence that's not about performance. Like oh we want right. this performance to be great, um, but we ourselves want to be good musicians right. and we want to cause you no know, distractions while we're worshiping while we're playing. Absolutely. And, um, and the our team here, folks here, um, that's probably one of the coolest things of like you know, just they you know want to grow and learn and play oh, yeah. and, and serve. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Hola, and I'm sitting thinking about names. I'm thinking Kayla. Yeah, Kayla, Kayla. we gotta get that. We got mm-hmm. uh, Gotta get that fiddle back, man. <laughs> fiddle. Yep. Well, let me hit a couple of things here. Um, coming up in the future, um, 
small groups. The fall is, you know, the time of year when traditionally we're, we're starting new groups, uh, CPR groups, for those that don't know about them, care, prayer, and relationships. That's our small groups. And, um, and if you're interested in get, getting into a group and that's where life happens, that's where the care for you happens, uh, we desperately want you to be in that. Our, i be honest with you, our church does not work very well if you're not in a small group. Mm-hmm. I mean, really, you can get lost in the cracks, yeah. and we don't want you to get lost in the cracks. So mm-hmm. see myself, see Ben, he'll yeah, get you there. Uh, Pastor Andy, he's, he's, over, he's over the small groups, but mm-hmm. you can find anybody that you want to talk to, my wife, Teresa, um, and we'll get you into a small group. We need to start some new ones, man. You, this time of year, it's really awkward, I know, with COVID, but we do have small groups that are meeting mm-hmm. uh, cautiously in homes, some on back decks of their house, some are still doing Zoom or Skype mm-hmm. and stuff like that. But, you know, we, we definitely want you. I'm just telling you, our church yeah. stinks if you're not in a small group. I mean, that's, that's the, strength, it's the strength of our church. And, mm-hmm. in fact, you can, you, can see, you can see that with East Milton. East Milton started small groups you know, a year before the church was to launch, and then right – but week before their launch, they're told we can't meet in a building together, and yet they've coming off. They're ki- they're kicking it, man. They're kicking it. It's a it's a uh, um, they're they're doing great mm-hmm. out there. So be in prayer for Jared and Tammy and their household as they lead uh, this new congregation, and um, and but uh, just just. I mean, that's a testimony to small groups. Yeah. I mean, I just couldn't help that. Just kind of fits all all in there. Mm-hmm. Uh, for, for Danny too, he's been leading there. Yeah, he's been Danny. killing it as that's as right. a voice in worship as well. He's right. uh, he's an awesome friend and uh, has been leading them really Amen. well. And, and Amy right. has been out there. One of our vocalists has, has been out there singing, and and um, and then our team that does our you know uh, our. Uh, uh, what I'm trying to say, production and yep. just you know, actually yep. uh, lighting. Well, Coben, Coben's oh, out there. Audio, okay, video, uh, uh, you know, yeah. let's give let's give a little DMD disciples making disciples. Yeah. You know, Jeff has trained up. He has trained up Danny, got mm-hmm. him ready for that. Absolutely. And and uh, Joel has done a good job in the mm. tech, technical booth, uh, mm-hmm. training up Coben, and uh, and they got some other folks out there yeah. that uh, have 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 actually lived out that way. And mm-hmm. and we've had people in our church that lived out that way that were kind of waiting for us. When y'all gonna get out here? And yeah. so Absolutely. and uh, so we. It, we had a good core uh, available. Uh, and trust me, as a worship person, as a musician person, you're only as good as your sound guy. <laughs> He's he turns on your microphone. They get Amen. it all sounding good out there. So Amen. that team is is solid. Is so great. I love you know working with them and serving yeah. with them. And uh, as with all the other guys as well, you know sometimes a part of that where it's almost like two different worlds. That's right. We're one and the same. Those guys are great, and it, right. the same applies. You know they're learners and growers and 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 servers, servants. Man, they they just get after it. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Well, mm-hmm. well, I tell you, we're uh, we're getting close to the end here tonight, and I do need to hear this. I know there's there's always mm-hmm. a big question. There's always a couple of big questions. Sometimes people are asking, they don't hear you and me talk and all this stuff, yeah. which I've enjoyed this. Mm-hmm. Uh, but they they have big questions like, what are we doing next and all this, you know? And, and children's ministry is always the big question, mm-hmm. all right? I wish I had the answer, but I don't know of anyone that does, okay? And uh, we continue to watch to see what the schools will be doing so that we can get a grasp of things. I can tell you this, and I hope you understand this, as a church planner, you got to know, as a, myself, as a church planner, a type person that would quit their job and just start a church with nobody, no promises except from God. Mm-hmm. Uh, I am a person that will take risk. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you happen to see the video of me and some guys out in the uh, bay the other day, you'll know I am a type person that will take risk. Yes. All right, <laughs> uh, but uh, we will not, you know, we'll not take risk with your children. We will be cautious with your children. We heard. Mm-hmm. Of a church recently that you know the uh, had some of their students were at a camp at a youth camp and and a bunch of them came down with COVID. I mean, I mean, I, I've said I'm not going to judge what any other church tries and does, but I, I I'm telling you with our kids I'm going to be cautious. I know that as we meet uh, on Sunday morning again, I'm telling you the reason we're doing that is we know that people are going to some places and they know how to be careful as careful can be. Okay, yeah, there are some people that that aren't going to those places, and they're not coming to church either. I get that. That's consistent. Yeah. Uh, but if you're willing to go to these other places, you should, I think, you, yeah. you should. We're, we're going to make it where it's uh, 
the, the church is a place that you can come to and congregate and feel pretty good about that. You know, mm-hmm. there's nothing that's 100%. I For mean, sure. there's nothing that. Yeah. Um, but so, so let me be clear. Uh, the church won't stop. Mm-hmm. We cannot be stopped. Uh, right. Jesus said the gates of hell will not prevail mm. uh, against the church. Uh, however, we will adjust for your safety as need be. We'll do all the things that we can do, and uh, so we'll do those. Mm-hmm. So, uh, so we need you to help us. Uh, help us help you. Pray for us. Uh, I'm going to tell you, everybody's under attack in one way or another, mm-hmm. and, and uh, don't believe the lies of the devil, okay? We love you even though we don't see you, and we assume that you love us even though we don't see you, okay? (laughs) Uh, So do all that. Uh, Serve opportunities. I want you to know that even in this climate, there are plenty of ways to serve. Uh, The sanitizing between services is a serious thing. We take it seriously. And when we started out, we had staff members doing that and trying to do other things. But I'm going to tell you, we could use some help with that. Mm -hmm. Uh, You know, we've we found out that some people are coming with their families, with children. They're asking about children's ministry. And we've got some some of our these ministers, these children ministers, they're helping with sanitizing. I mean, we. We can't get them to talk to people. We can't have them minister to do the things we want them to do. So if you're willing to say, hey, I'll come and I'll serve and I'll do that, I'll do whatever it takes. We do have people doing that, and I love it. Praise God for people saying, I'll I'll do whatever it takes. Mm -hmm. Um, We have people that say, look, I'll be there all three services. I'll do that. I mean, uh, we have people, and and if you can't do that, I'm not saying you got to live up to that, but I'm just saying I want you to know there's people that will do that. Mm -hmm. Um, Parking lot and security teams. Um, you know, we've taken a little bit of a hit on that, so some people are double duty in on that, and so we can certainly lo- use your help in those areas. Mm-hmm. So, so let us in the, the the remarks right there section. Tell us, hey, I, I'll be glad to help. I want to help. Yeah. Uh, if if you're still willing to serve, if you want to get in on any of the ministry things that we do, whether it's with the school or with the local community, mm-hmm. uh, let us know that. Um, you can contact me, any of the any of the staff members, or, or right here. Let us know that you would like to help out. Um, but that's, I mean, that's a, about where I'm going to wrap it up tonight. I'm, uh, I think I'll close this in prayer. But um, you know, that's uh, that's been a good good time. You had a good time. Absolutely, had a good time. Had a good time. Yeah, first time. So uh, <laughs> very good, man. You, I think you knocked it out of the park. So we'll, uh, we'll we'll see we'll see what the results tell us here. We'll but, see. <laughs> but uh, anyway, well, let, join me in prayer as we close out tonight. Uh, Lord Jesus, we love you and we thank you for this uh, time together. Uh, Lord, I, our heart hurts. It's, our hearts are heavy for those who have lost loved ones this past week. Mm. Uh, Lord, we pray that you would be with them, love on them, comfort them, uh, let us be Jesus to them in any way that we can. Um, Lord, I, I pray for anyone that's listening right now that's kind of in, but they're not. They're not all in. They're not. They're not. In, they're not. They've not connected with like a small group or anything, and so they're on that outskirts where I'm. They're dangerous. It's, it's dangerous. They may fall into the cracks, Lord, and think that we don't love them when we do love them, God. Um, so help us uh, as believers make better commitments to you, mm-hmm. Lord. Commit to the one and obey the one who who came and, and lived and died for us, Lord. And, Lord, help us as a church be here for the person that's next, the people that aren't here yet. Mm-hmm. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. amen. All right. God bless you. I will say, I guess, Pastor out. Pastor out. <laughs> <laughs>